All right, welcome back to the next lesson of our tutorial series on how to create stack colors in Unity. For this lesson, we're going to be revisiting the player controls and show you how to create the sideways movement of the player. Now let's dive right on into the code. For this, I'm going to open up the player controller script. Now just a reminder, everything that is highlighted in green, we've already covered in our previous videos. So for getting the player to move sideways, we need one more variable, which is a serialized field of type float called side lerp speed. After that, we need to go down to the update function where we've added another if statement with the condition input.getMouseButton and then passing in a zero for the parameter, which will be for if we're holding down the left mouse button. Then inside this if statement, we have a new function, which is called move sideways. And I'm creating that function right here, which is a void function with no parameters. Inside this function, we're doing a raycast to get where on the platform our mouse is touching. So we have a new local variable of type ray called ray, and we're setting it equal to camera.main.screen.2ray, and we're passing in input.mouseposition. We then need to create another local variable of type raycast hit called hit, after which we have an if statement with the condition physics.raycast. We're passing in our ray variable for the first parameter. We then have out hit, and then we're passing in 100 for the distance on our raycast. Now this if statement will be true if our raycast collides with an object. Now inside this if statement, we have transform.position equals vector3.lerp. We're passing in transform.position for the first parameter. The second parameter is a new vector3 with hit.point.x for the first parameter, transform.position.y for the second, and transform.position.z for the third. For the third parameter of the lerp function, we're passing in side lerp speed times time dot delta time. Now this will make it so that our player object, while still moving forward, will lerp horizontally to the position of where our raycast collides with the platform. Now there's one more thing that I want to add to this script, and that is to get our player to start moving forward with the first initial click of our mouse. And we'll do this back up in the update function where we're checking for the player's mouse input to see if is playing is equal to false. And if it is, then we want to set is playing equal to true. Now at this point, we can save the script and we'll go back to Unity. Inside Unity, we just need to set our side lerp speed to something like five, and then we can overwrite our player prefab after which I'm going to test out our project. Our player object begins to move forward, and if I left click somewhere on our platform, you can see how our player object now moves to that position. Now that's everything that we're gonna cover in this lesson. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and go on to the next lesson.